Pedro Collins, who's oh, actually right. live at the lake. We are live at the lake. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello and good morning, Jared. How are you doing today, sir? I am doing great. Absolutely great. How about yourself? Fantastic. I'm so glad to talk with you. And the reason why is because I wish more people were like you in sharing their experiences and their personal journeys as creative people. And and you really, you bear your soul because it's almost like you say, can we have a conversation? Let's let's learn something together. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, that's, you know, I wanted to write a book that, that you know, that had useful information, practical advice. Also, you know, like to let people know like how insanely competitive and brutal this industry is. So it's not a flower, like, Oh, come to LA and become a movie star very easily (laughs) book. This is, this is a, this is a real, I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years. I've been through, you know, ups and I wanted to, I've been on the lowest of lows on my apartment, you know, wanting with no work, no money. And I've been on, you know, multi-million dollar sets with movie stars. So it's like, it really is. If it's hot, it's hot. When it rains, it pours, and when it doesn't, you're dead, you know? Well, this book is coming out at such an exciting time because, I mean, I had a friend yesterday that was telling me, man, you know, the writer's strike, that means reality TV show is going to be big. I'm going to go out there with the cameras. We're going to shoot, 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 shoot. And I'm thinking, you know, you know, Jared would have the guts to do something like that, too, if, if he was just starting out in the industry. And this is going to be that book that they're, they're going to take, and they're going to learn from it. Yeah, I you know, and that's that's what I hope. I mean, it, it, I, I wrote this book for the you know the for the person, you know, uh, trying to trying to come up and trying to work in this industry. Mm-hmm. This, you know, this book is not not for those who like, you know, I want to you know be Spielberg. I mean, sure you can that too, but this is a very real book. I, you know, I, I've directed you know fifty movies. A lot of them, you know. Some some big budget, some low budget, some no budget, and it, you know, and it like I guess it almost reads. Some people 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 have told me they're like this kind of reads like a cautionary tale. <laughs> like I don't know if I, I don't know if this this book is like wanting people to you know if someone that once has is interested in filmmaking a little bit would read this book and all of a sudden want to move and become a filmmaker. But I I'm like good. I'm like that's that's actually good because they should know that it, how difficult it is because it's. It, it's been this way for me, uh, but look, just because it's you know been twenty years from like, I've seen people move to LA and become a, a, a megastar in yeah. a year. Like yeah. I've seen that too. And yes, yes, that happens. Yes, that happens. And everybody wants to be that person, but ninety nine percent of the people aren't going to be. In fact, ninety ninety eight percent of the people yeah. are going to go home after the first year, and the other one percent will be the you know people that stick have to stick it out twenty years. That's so funny that you bring that up, Jared. And the reason why is because I've had more actors tell me that Hollywood really has the highest unemployment. Because if you see an actor on the street, that means they're not working. And it's like, oh my god, you know. And we don't we don't look at the reality of that. It, 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 it's so true. I mean, statistically, statistically, and this is I did this. I did this when I was eighteen. I, I, I said I want to be an actor, and that's what got me started in the industry. You know, bright light. You know, bright lights in my eyes, and my, you know, all this crap, and. And yeah, I mean, just um, you see these people come out here and they're like, oh, I, wa- I-, I want to be a star. I want to be famous. I'm like, man, like you're, you're either in for, you're either you better be you better be like 17 and beautiful and talented. <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, otherwise you're just going to be or, or born to, you know, or your parents are famous and rich and famous and, and they can help you out. But for the rest of us. Yeah, it's a grind, man. It, yeah. it, it, it is a grind with a capital every letter. Well, see, and I try to share that with future broadcasters. I go, if, you th- if you're coming into this industry to expect a victory right off the bat, if I'm not seeing you bleed the blood or if I'm not seeing you starving, you, you aren't hungry enough because you've got to work yeah. through those valleys. You, you do, and, and you really do. And, and, and there's something that also, like, for me, that's, that's been true is that, I can't skip. You can't skip grades. Like yeah. <laughs> I, 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 you can't. You can't go from directing, you know, a hundred thousand dollar movie to a hundred million dollar movie. Right. Some people can, and, and that happens. There's always exceptions to the story. There's always gonna be like, oh well, the guy, you know, uh, Damien Chazelle did Whiplash, and then he did La La La. You know, like sure, that happened. Uh, but you know, for me, it's been okay. I did a hundred thousand dollar movie. Next movie is two hundred thousand. Next yeah. movie is four hundred. Like, like it's 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 been going up incrementally baby steps and and 
it's a long process. Like, I don't even know if I, if, if you would have told me, you know, I was 18, 19, that, you know, 20 years later, I'd still, you know, I'd be in the ground. I'd be like, man, I should, I should have been a, a fucking surgeon. Oh, sorry, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't mean to curse. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I, I totally agree with you because, you know, I always tell that my students that, you know, look, look, I made a big mistake going from Billings, Montana to Charlotte, North Carolina. And they go, why? What do you mean you jump markets? No, I missed a lot of markets. There was a lot of growing up that I should have done between those two markets. And that's great. You know what? Like, you recognizing that and and, and, and and having that's the exact same that's the exact same mentality it is here. It's like, oh yeah, you know what? I want to be. It's like you ask it after. It's like, oh, what do you want to be like? I want to be like Leonardo DiCaprio. I want to be like John Stamos. But it's like, okay, well, you know, what about you know Ben Mendel like Ben Mendelsohn? Are you gonna be like or, or like a, a like you? Not everybody's gonna be a star. Like there's just. Not everybody's gonna be a star, and you have to just be, you have to be okay in this industry saying, you know what, I may never be that a list star people. I may never be this famous guy, but I have to be okay with that. I have to be okay with that. And maybe I wanted those things when I was eighteen, nineteen. I wanted to be, you know, that's what it was about. It was important for me to have this, you know, recognition. But now, now what's important to me is like paying my bills yeah, and like. Yep. Keeping, keeping, keeping my mental health like happy and, and like not you know being a de- miserable person all the time like that's what's important to me like and, and and these and it takes time like you just don't have that sense of appreciation or, or values when you're 18 19, unless you're really really smart and mature <laughs> but I, I was not that guy I was a dumbass <laughs> yeah but you know what the, you know what you're what you're teaching me is the fact that you you own the power of choice you're making a choice to do what it is that you're doing and and that that to me is empowerment yeah I mean it and it, 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 it really always comes down to choice because the same yeses that will get you ahead mm-hmm. they, they, they will also set you back because it's it, especially in the, it's only really in the movie industry or in some other industries because you can go let's say you go and i've been in this situation where i've i've done you know i've done a few hundred you know a movie a, a low budget movie a few hundred grand you know tv made for tv movie and then a bigger movie and then and you say yeah everyone's like yeah say yes to say yes and that's how you get your career going but after you've done a few bigger movies if you get offered a small movie like that could actually hurt your career. Yeah, yeah. Like, but I, and I hate that. I hate that so much because, like, no band will ever get yelled at for playing a stadium and then the next night playing like an intimate, like, you know, venue, you know, with fifty people in the audience. Like, that's cool. Yeah. If you're a musician, that's cool. But if you're a filmmaker, oh God, no! Now, now he's doing low budget stuff. Now, <laughs> now we can't hire him for this bigger thing because look at him. He's he's off doing this low. This like like it's it's a, it's a very hard business to 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 play. You have to play by the rules and win. Like it's. Ooh. Yeah, but have, haven't those rules changed though with with streaming? Because I mean, look at look at even Harrison Ford, you know, coming in to do a series and Sylvester Stallone. It's it's almost like they're saying, okay, yeah, okay, as long as this is going to be a twelve part series, I'm in the game. It, it, you know what? There there is definitely truth to that. But those, I will say, like the TV pro, the TV production has is is went up. Like it used to be, movies were the big budget things, but now they're now they're spending just as much money on these. They're just spending mi- millions of dollars on an episode, so yeah. so so TV has 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 elevated. I would say more so TV has elevated, so it's okay for the you know a big star to do a big TV show. That's not gonna ding them like 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 it maybe used to you know twenty years ago, but um, yeah, I mean it, for the director or even like. But but it has to be a high cost like like Sylvester Stallone like he's not gonna go and do a low budget movie he'll he'll do a high budget TV thing but yeah. you can't like like first of all their agents would probably chew their head off <laughs> if they even considered it um, yeah it's it's, it, it's aristocratic it's one of the last remaining aristocratic industries where people talk about you know pedigree and prestige and and, and, and and this and that where where sometimes to be honest you just want to like work you want to make a movie and, if, and, and a, another movie comes along and maybe the budget's not as big maybe it doesn't have like super star name actors but it's a great script 
and you want to work. Uh, but maybe the smart thing is to say no yeah. when you don't want to say no. Uh, like it's, uh, uh, or, but you, you know, maybe, maybe you direct the film under a different name. You know, you could always do that. Yeah. As that director, though, you, you're relinquishing a lot of trust when it when it comes to those, uh, you know, the actors, because, I mean, you, you, you're trusting them to show up, do their job, because, I mean, the end result. You kind of you have to like I tried when I, you know, when I first started directing and I was you know experimenting with, you know, how to communicate with these actors. And luckily, you know, I had an acting background. So, um, but yeah, you have to. You don't have trust, and you and, and you micromanage. You you know, mm -hmm. the actor's not going to like it, especially if you have a if, if you have a a star. If you have like a, a new actor that's very excited and you know very young and blah blah blah, you can tell them you know I want you to say this line with your you know your right eye closed. You know you know jumping on your other foot, and they'll do it. But you know you get a guy, you get a you know a serious a star actor you know you get like a donald sutherland keep keeper sutherland you know guy in your set oh yeah they, they know how to act they know that you don't need to say okay I, I want you to say this line angry and i want you to say this line happy like they're gonna show up they know you know and you have to work with them on their on their you know you got to trust them there has to be a level of trust uh, or else the relationship will be uh, it, it could just turn ugly and then if the, if a direct if an actor a lead actor especially a star doesn't like you mm. oh mm. Then they can make your life hell oh man <laughs> i don't you, you don't want to be that direct i don't care if it's a 150 million dollar movie <laughs> you're, you're, you're not feeling good you're not going home to your, your family with a smile that night I'll tell you that one. Speaking of making your life hell, th this AI generation, I mean, they're doing things with, with images of people that didn't even do the role. I know in the voiceover business, we're running through it as well. How are you going to guarantee your protection as we grow into this market? You know, I mean, AI, there is no guarantees of, of anything. I, 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 the more I, 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 I'm really getting into it, like, I'm really like, I want to be, I want to be ahead of the curve. Like, I want to be, I'm gonna. I really want to like learn how to actually make AI films and 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 get in touch with it. You know, learn more about you know virtual production and and all this technology because you're either you're either going to be using it to your advantage, or it's gonna or or it's gonna take take yep. your voice, take your life, take your everything, and things are gonna change because of it. It's happening so fast. Um, but AI is not going anywhere. In yeah. fact, it is gonna. It is spreading like way faster than COVID. It, I mean, it's just it's gonna affect everything. So I'm I'm of the belief that you either you either roll with it or you're just gonna roll right over you. <laughs> and you're not even gonna see it coming. How, how do I know that I'm not talking to the AI Jared right now? <laughs> you don't. You know, you probably don't. Like. <laughs> and probably I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. Even you know, it, it, because man, I, if you talk to an AI recorder for thirty seconds, it'll have all your voices and and you know nuances. Man, it's just so crazy. And and, and technology, uh, I don't know enough about it. Right. I need to learn more about it. Like that's actually like almost my like you know may resolution here uh you know learn ai and and be ahead of the curve for all industries do you think the next generation of directors they're, they're right there on tiktok right now creating these smaller videos which can't gain the attention of so many viewers or do you think that they're, they're still unborn because i mean it's it's like hollywood has to reinvent itself and it's needing people like yourself to be truthful and upfront in order to make that next level happen yeah, I mean, there. You know, there's so many. Ta I mean, I think I, I think people. You know, I, I talked to some of this, you know, these kids in the new generation. And man, they're all. You know, they're smart. They're yeah. smarter than I was. You know, I, when I was when I was, you know, in high school, I was a dummy. You know, and I, like I was was I playing video games and 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 that's it. Like I wasn't I wasn't creating content, building a brand. I mean, uh, these TikTokers, and I'm talking about the younger ones, you know, yeah. like, uh, you know, of course the older ones are, that's, but the younger generation that, that understand, like I have a brand, I'm, um, you know, 14 years old opening toys and, and, and now I got, you know, I got millions of, like, obviously that's the exception, you know, like 
the ones that have the numbers and I'm sure that, you know, for every TikToker with, you know, a million followers, there's, you know, another 10 million with, you know, a thousand followers trying to post things. But I mean, the successful ones, like you understand your brand. I mean, you may, they, they may not even understand it fully yeah. because how can you, when you're like, you know, 15 years old, but you created something of value. Uh, you have people following you and I mean, I think, yeah, they're smart. I mean, I don't know if it's smart or, or, or if it's the technology that, you know, allowed them to, to do that, that makes them smart for taking, for taking advantage of it. But it certainly wasn't around when, when I was, when I was young and I'd probably, I mean, if I was, <laughs> you know, 13 now, I'd probably, well, I'd probably still be a dumbass. To be honest with you. I'd, I'd probably be like, you know, trying to have millions of followers, but have 220, you know? Well, I mean, you get someone like Elle Fanning who openly admits that because her, her internet numbers were down and she didn't have those analytics, she didn't land a major role. And it's one of those things where, you know, people at a young age, get your numbers, man. Start working those numbers now, not when you get into Hollywood. Yeah, you know, and that's, that's yeah, if you're going to go that direction, I'll say it. Uh, let, let me just uh, preface that if you're going to go that direction and I don't think I don't know if that's necess- if, if you if that's necessarily the healthiest for the kid but <clears throat> if you are going to play that game you got to go all in yeah. you better get those numbers up you better get those numbers up and and I, mean, I don't know what the secret sauce is but <laughs> uh, yeah I mean the numbers are important and Ellie Elle Fanning yeah I mean yeah uh, I don't know how much but she's a great actor. I can't imagine some like TikToker taking her job, but maybe I don't know if it's for like some commercial, sure, maybe if someone has super more followers, but yeah, I mean, I I don't know about that. I I, I don't know how, you know, I got to tell you what I felt when I when I saw the title of the book, 50 movies made. I, in my heart, 50 miracles were made because they say it takes a miracle to make a movie. And so so I, I took the positive edge on that going, wow, wow, 50 miracles in this man's heart. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't even believe it myself when I look at I'm like, I directed 50 movies like, <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm not a super old guy. You know, I mean, I, it's just. I was really just on a tear for years after just doing movie, <laughs> movie back to back to back to back. But I, I, I was at a point where, you know, I had a great relationship with, you know, I still have a great relationship, you know, with, with, you know, a few production companies that make so many movies, like the Asylum. Big shout out to the Asylum. Yeah, they make 20, 20, 30 movies a year, and I've just had a a. They were just so awesome, and they hired me, and they hired me, and they hired me. And, and it's just, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be where I am without, without the asylum, uh, not even close. And, and, you know, it's companies like that, 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 that believe in me and, and just like them believing me and giving me movie after movie after movie. I, I think I directed 18 movies for them. Wow. Um, it's just, it, 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 and that's just, and, the, and man, it's just having those relationships with people that, 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 that can hire you and, 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 and doing right by them, you yeah, know, and, yeah. and, and it's like any other job, you know, do right by the people that hire you and, 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 and you'll keep, they'll keep you going. They'll keep bringing you back to the party. And, you know, and that, that's another part of the book is like how to deal with people because, yeah. you know, you got people in Hollywood are nuts. Like everybody's <laughs> nuts. You know, I'm nuts. I don't, I, you know, if someone asks me if I'm Sam, I'm like, no, I'm crazy. Like I'm in, I, I'm a movie director and, and, but it's all about the people. Uh-huh. If you don't have people that support you, I don't care if you're the best damn actor, filmmaker, screenwriter, well, screenwriter, you might be able to get away with it. But, uh, <laughs> actor, director. Yeah. Cause you got to interact with people. Wow. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be a people person. Yep. Uh, or people, people have to at least not dislike you. Yeah. Like, I don't know what the secret is. People say, "Oh, Jared, you know, uh, people, everybody likes you." And I don't know. I'm just, you know, that. Look, I'm a people. Maybe I'm a people person. Maybe I'm not. But there's some people that just ru- seem to rub people the wrong way, no matter what they say. <laughs> and those people. And I don't know if there's any help for them. You know, yeah. like, uh, how do you tell somebody? Like, look, you people just don't really. 
like you that much. I don't know. <laughs> you got to come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Oh, thank you. I would, I would love to. Excellent. Really. Well, you be brilliant today, okay? Thank you. And you too. You Enjoy bet. the lake. Yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.